This week on Scam School, napkins! <laughs> This lovable rap scallion brought to you by Audible.com. You know, when Scam School launched four years ago, it was made of pretty much nothing but beer and idiocy. Proud to say that after 200 episodes and almost 40 hours of content, it's pretty much the exact same thing. Scam School, the only show dedicated to social engineering at the bar and on the street. I'm your host, Brian Brushwood, and this week we've got a couple of challenges that are going to fry your brains a little bit. They use napkins and topologies, maybe a little bit of origami, but once you noodle it through, you're going to feel like a supreme wizard or a total dumbass. That's sort of what we do on Scam School. Let's check them out. Hi, Kat. It's good to see you. I'm Brian. Brett, I've never met you before, and you certainly haven't appeared on seven episodes of Scam School before. Wouldn't hear of it. <laughs> All right, here's the challenge I'm going to set up. And I'm going to set it up for both of you guys. In fact, why not? We'll go ahead. I'm going to, because it's arts and crafts time, you can just go ahead and tear a napkin apart. But... You're going to get fancy with the scissors. Yes, these, these are my kid friendly scissors. I'm going to write down some numbers on here. All right? All right, that's yours. And I'm going to make another copy for you here. Okay, good. So each of you got one of those. Here's your challenge. Okay. There is a way to fold this. And I promise you there really is an answer that satisfies right. these conditions. If you fold it this way, and then this way, and then we'll say this way. If you were to just go from the top and the bottom, the order would be one, four, seven, eight, three, six, and blah, 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 blah right? Eventually, it is possible to figure out a way to fold them up in such a way that from the top down to the bottom, disregarding how they fold like a book or whatever, but one is on top, two is underneath, three is underneath, all the way on down to eight on the very bottom. Okay. Make sense? Okay. You guys start folding, and if either of you can solve this one, I will buy both of you tasty beverages. All right. Commence Starting. the foldage. I like the way Brett's just diving in right up to the top. This looks suspiciously like you're just crumpling it up. I mean, kind you, of. You got it? Is this your submission? It up, yeah. All right, well, there definitely is an eight on the bottom, and there definitely is a one on top. Here, I'm gonna cut off the edges here. And we'll see. You got a one and a two. I don't know what this is. This is not, oh wait, what? You do, have, you do have a three. Under the three, we have a seven. I have bad news. What's up? My six disappeared. It's gone. All right, let me see it. What do you it's got? Gone. It doesn't exist anymore. All right, but so I have one, two, three, four, five, seven, eight. All right, so let me see. You got one, two, three. All right, so there's your two. And then I guess that's the four underneath. Five, and then... Uh... The six is missing. Don't worry about the six. It's gone. <laughs> but look for the seven. It's down there somewhere. <laughs> The seven, there's a seven, and then a six is folded underneath no, it. And no it six. Okay, first of all, you totally. can't you can't take a seven, a six, and an eight and just and crumple it up like this. This is not you're not in the right mind at all. If you had written the numbers in the right place, it would have worked fine. Uh, it doesn't matter, dude. Even if they're off center, the math holds, sir. All right, look. I don't need to crumple, I don't need to cut, and I will show you the answer. You guys ready for the yeah. answer? Oh, that was a it's half-assed and you know it, sir. That's sloppy like, work, bounce like a bill. All right, look, later, let's, test, let's toast our sponsors. <laughs> All right, let's talk about our friends over at Audible. How great is Audible? They're the number one provider of spoken word entertainment with 100,000 books to choose from. Now, we're talking about AAA titles read by top-notch entertainers who make these books come alive in your ear holes while you're doing other menial crap. You're not there physically doing the dishes. Your brain is off in some other dimension battling space warriors. You're not taking out the trash. You're slaying dragon witches with your six-shooters. 
That's why I say go ahead and check out one of my all-time favorite series, The Dark Tower by Stephen King. It starts with book one, The Gunslinger. You're looking at seven books for the series, plus a bunch of Stephen King's other books are all secretly about The Dark Tower. Best of all, it's going to be made into a movie and TV show coming up in the next couple of years, and you can be first. Just head on over to audiblepodcast.com slash scam school, and you will get a book completely free just for signing up. We will look amazing. You guys will make us happy. Scam school will stay in business, and you will get to experience the Dark Tower. At least the first book. After that, you're going to pay. But it's worth it. It's freaking audible. So the good news is you were actually kind of on the right track. However, sloppy work, Roundsville. I expected better from you. Uh-oh. Here's the thing. We're going to have you guys duplicate this. Here, everybody, let's get a fresh one for everyone. All right, so follow along with me. First of all, the four and the one make out, right? So they they start kissing. All right, now the four and the five start making out. And you're folded up. So at this point, uh, I go ahead and I lock in kind of my seams so everything's nice and smooth. Here's where things get a little bit tricky. Then you grab your four, five combo and you take the four, five combo and you you twist it back on itself so that the four combines with the three now. And so what you wanna do is is holding it like a taco, right? Get your hands, don't, don't bother with the taco shell, just bother with the meat in the middle. All right. All right, and then inside the taco, you're gonna fold the five the back, five the yep, there you go, so that the four, five and four as a group, are gonna turn around so the four is looking at the three. So you got this nice little, nice little tuck in there. And you're gonna seal, seal up the taco. And then finally, you're gonna close, you're gonna fold it like a book so that the one's on top. There you go, so just fold, fold that back. There you go, there you go. Now, at this point, I'm gonna cut up, I'm gonna cut up all the sides. There we go, and if you did it right, you should have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and that's a piece of the A. That's the right. half of an A. Right. But you get the idea, you oh, get no, the no, idea, no, no. right? All right, here we go. We got three napkins, one of them an evil snowman, bent on destruction and death. Question is, and I swear, no trick a here. I'm gonna start rolling these up. And so you got all, I'm gonna start rolling the heads up. And one at a time, you're gonna see the tails flip around. It'll be tail number one, tail number two, tail number three. Once tail number three goes, I'm gonna stop and then I'm gonna unroll it. So the question is, where will Evil Frosty be? Will he be on top, will he be on middle, or will he be on bottom? Uh, what's your bet? Uh, bottom. You say bottom. Uh, bottom. I'm gonna go bottom. You're gonna go bottom. So two Frosty bottoms. Two Frosty I mean, bottoms. He's got the little smile and he's got the like, hairy nose. You know what? I'm gonna write down my answer. You can't keep read. That to see, yes. That yeah, that won't do a switch through. Right. You wrote a haiku. I, I did. I wrote. I wrote a love poem about yeah. Frosty. There it is, right there. All right, here we go. Now, no tricky, no tricky, right? Okay. So again, we're just we're we're just gonna roll it up. I roll it up. Continuing to roll it up. Roll it up. All right. So the three heads went in, and we're rolling, and we're rolling, oh. and we're rolling. One tail. One tail. Keep going. Oh, Two tail. You think he's gonna be the top? You want to change your answer? You can change your answer. Uh, yeah, I think he's gonna be top. She thinks Frosty's the top. What about you? I think he's gonna be the top. He looks very toppy from here. You, you want to be top? <laughs> you team top? Only because you're goading me into it. I'm gonna stick the bottom. All right, all right. So you top your bottom. All right, here we go. Keep on going. So that's uh, and so we're looking for the third tail. All right, that's that's oh, one half. Totally all right, hold on. All right, so there we go. Third tail, right? What? No, we can head. Frosty's in the middle, motherfucker. <laughs> uh, first of all, you're gonna want to practice this one a couple of times because you would think it's straightforward, but but I was dumb enough to like screw up this eight times, and there was something about the way I was rolling it that was slightly off. So I was a little bit excited when Frosty turned out to be in the middle. Uh, <laughs> uh, I know you couldn't tell. I know you couldn't tell. Uh, okay, so here's what you do. You set three of them up, and obviously you want to have two similar napkins and one slightly different napkin. And what you want to do is roll it tight enough that the first roll 
is like you bring in the first napkin to kind of kiss the first one and then divide it in half and then just keep on rolling forward from there. As you roll forward, okay? Now again, I'm sure there are scientists and mathematicians who understand topology who can explain all this to us, but as you roll forward, you're gonna scoop everything up and you'll see the first tail. And the way this works is as I keep rolling, think of what happens to this first tail. It actually makes it around a second loop. So that should affect your estimation of how big of a tube you should be rolling. And then there's, there's the second tail, right? And then by the time you get to the third tail, now here's where you really want to slow down because depending on how you arranged your napkins, they're going to want to flip over two at a time, right? And so, but you want to just get that first, as soon as that goes over, and then you unroll, and then Frosty will be counterintuitively right there in the middle. And you can curse at your audience, and you can get a free beer. Thank you guys so much. That was epic. Thank you guys. <laughs>